right now. This man is sitting in jail accused of shooting and killing the owner of a tow truck company. Your bond on each charge is set at no bond. And new at 5, we uncovered a lengthy criminal record, including time spent in prison just five years ago. Orlando police say that man's murder was over a towed car and a $285 bill. Good evening. I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Martha Sigalski. That shooting happened at the tow truck company business on Robinson Street last night. Channel 9's Cuthbert Langley has spent the day trying to learn more about the suspect. And now new at 5, Cuthbert, you found out he's not even from Central Florida. Martha, he's not. He's from Arcadia, Florida, according to records, which is about 100 or so miles away from here. In the meantime, you can see behind me, employees here at the tow truck company have put out candles to remember their boss. It's just crazy to think just over a car being towed. Nothing serious. Eli Davis has every reason to be upset. Not only was his car towed, but his windows were busted out by now accused killer Tremaine Polk. Despite the hassle for Davis, it's a matter of perspective. Unfortunate that it happened to my car, but you know, a window can be replaced, but the business owner his life can't be replaced. The business owner he's talking about is Paul Grin. Polk is accused of becoming irate, killing him after not having enough money to get his car out of the impound lot. Orlando police say Polk shot Grin three times at point blank range. The tow yard owner was known to get food at this restaurant across the street from time to time. He's well loved. That's all I can say. And he be sadly missed. Sophie Grant and her husband owned the restaurant and heard the gunshots that took Grin's life. I am petrified. I am just like still in shock. I didn't even sleep last night. We watched his Polk face a judge today while learning this was not his first time in court. In fact, his FDLE criminal history shows Polk was sentenced to more than 17 years in prison back in 2000 for robbery. Records show he was also convicted of attempted robbery, burglary, and grand theft. The Department of Corrections website shows he was released from prison in 2012. Orlando police are also telling us the owner of the tow truck company also had a gun during this incident, but he did not raise it toward the suspect. We're live in Orlando, Cuthbert Langley, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.